Hi, today I'm sharing with you 24 pieces I picked up yesterday to resell on eBay. Before I get started, my name is Celeste. I resell part-time on eBay to be able to stay home with my kids. Especially now, I'm really thankful to be able to do this so that my kids can stay home and do distant learning. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing for similar content. So let's get started. So yesterday I went out sourcing. I couldn't decide where to go. I actually woke up a bit late to go to yard sales. Um, I couldn't decide where to go, if to go to the bins or to regular thrift stores. And then I remembered how much hard work it is to go to the bins. And I thought, you know, well, I'm going to just take it easy and go to regular thrift stores. I ended up going to two. Um, I left about 9.30 and I came back about 1.30 to two, I think it was. Um, I, so I spent about, what, four or five hours there. I picked up 24 items and I'm here to share them with you. Didn't look up comps too much yesterday. I was just trying to look at as many items as I could. I went with my gut and I really hope I made some good decisions. So I almost forgot. I did spend $40 at the first store. I ended up going to two and then $38.31 at the second store. So the total was $78.31 for um, all 24 pieces. So it turns out to be about um, right under $350 per item. I haven't done the math, but I think it's about four. $350 to $4 per item. I'm going to share with you some of the items that I found. Um, I found, I'll start with the one I found the most of. So I'll start with the free people. I found seven of them. Um, and you know, like I showed you in my previous video, you saw that I sold the most I sold last month was free people. I actually sold 20. Well, it's because I do find more free people in my area. And so, um, so that's why I sell more of it. So this is a free people size small top. It has like this cute um, crochet detail and it's like a long sleeve or three fourth sleeve top. Um, so that's the first item. Second item is one that I have already picked up. I picked it up in a, in a, in a black and it sold, I think for, it was about 25, $26 can't even find the right side to it. It's like an oversized top. And it's like a turtleneck. And I did notice that one of the stores that I went to had free people pretty cheap. And that's when, one of the main reasons why I didn't really look up comps. I ended up getting some of them, I think two of them for a dollar and 150 under two dollars. So most of these were like two dollars and under. So that was great. And that's why I didn't look up comps because worst case, I get my money back and um, I don't make much from them. But best case, I do really well. So this is one I've sold before. It doesn't sell for that much, but again, it was like a dollar. So I still picked it up because I know it still sells. It's just stress that way. It, it has like a worn out look to it. Cute. Here's another free people top. I don't know if you can see it it's like a crop top and then I still have a few more here's another plaid one this is like a flannel feels like a flannel maybe like a linen blend I just picked this one up based on style and it's um a snap button so that's a great detail to it here's another oversized like basic crop top It has like the balloon big sleeves, huge, oversized, and it's a size extra small. And then last, free people item. I've sold one of these before for like $15, so it's not much. Um, but I know I can get some money from it, so I pick it up. Cute detail there. Okay, so I don't expect to get the most money out of those, but it's, it's what keeps my store going. A lot of these I probably will place at an auction, so I'll let you know how they do in about a week. Then I was excited to find this one. Peruvian Connection Sweater. It's a woman's sweater, a teal. Basic. Probably won't sell for as much as one that would, you know, be printed because the solids don't do as well, but I still picked it up because it, it was like $3, I think. And so I think I could still get a good $50, $60 for this. Okay, and then I have, so just one from that brand. 
I have a soft surroundings, the older tag, but the style is one that I've sold before. I think I could probably get about 20 to 25 for this one. And then I have uh, two Eileen Fishers. This one's a size medium. It's a basic top, jersey top. But these do pretty well for me. Um, I'm thinking about $20 at least. Here's like a linen blend. It's also a medium. So probably the same person um, donated these. I'm hoping about $20 for that too. It could be more. I found two Athleta leggings exactly the same. So I picked them both up. Um, Athleta. And it's a straight leg. Straight or skinny. I have to look up the style name. But I have two exactly the same. I won't show you the other one. But it's exactly the same. And then I found three Lululemon. Um, this one. I'm actually, I actually like it. I'm actually afraid to try it on because I feel I'm going to like it and end up keeping it. I guess I can keep it and then just sell it next fall, winter. Don't know if I, I'll like it though. So it looks like a hooded like sweater. It has pockets. It has a logo back here. And it's actually, I think it's reversible because it has the pockets here. So it's really nice. So I have to look up this style or try it on. Maybe I like it and keep it. Here's another Lululemon. This one's a men's. And it's a tank top. I'm hoping at least $20 for this one. Could be more. Um, and then a long sleeve Lululemon. I have to look this one up too. But I did notice some spots. Very light spots on the front. I don't know if you can see them. So I'll probably auction it off. It was, I think this one was about $2 to $3 too. So it's worth the risk. The next items are just single items. So I don't have like multiple of the same brand. Um, this one's an anthropology. I actually have never seen this brand. It's Blank London. So I'll show you that. And it has the anthro tags. Um... It's cute. It has like a bell sleeve. It's like a little blazer jacket. Very cute. It's new with tag, so that's great. And then I was surprised to find this Patagonia. I haven't found a, a Patagonia jacket in a while. This one's the better sweater. It's a woman's size large. This one probably will bring a bit more money. I'm hoping about $50, hopefully. And then a Jamie Sadduck. I have, I did have to skip on a lot of Jamie Sadduck because a lot were um, very simple, very old style. This was the only one that I thought was a little bit better because of the, uh, just the colors. Very neon and the colors are nice. So hopefully some $20 for that one too. Here's a new brand that I had to pick up and I have to try. Um, there aren't many for sale. I think there are I don't know if it was four for sale and then two have sold so about 50% sell through rate not one of these listed this one's George Roth LA and I think this was silk. that's why I picked it up yeah it's silk and so very lightweight very cute this was about three dollars too so I wanted to try it out I'll let you know how it goes and then this bread I've picked up before I don't know how to pronounce it. Antica Sortoria? I don't know. But I've sold one of these before for about 20 to 25 So I guess um, I thought I'd give it a shot again. It's a cute tunic. Summery tunic. Um, here's an Everlane. This one's a basic top. But because it was cheap, I, I decided to pick it up. Everlane, I don't find very often. Um, I think I can get about 20 to 25 for this basic top. Hopefully. If not, I'll just auction it for less. And then I have, um, I have two left. That was so quick. Um, Ivy Park Leggings. This brand, again, I don't find so often. But I like to pick it up because it does well. It has the logo down here. And I think that'll help the value. It's an extra small and it's like a teal green. I think hopefully $20 for these two. Um, and then a new brand to me. I wanted to also try it out. 
It's the Danese. It's like a biking um, brand. They have jackets and these pants, like riding pants, but these are more like jeans. They're a woman's size 26. I was bummed that these were not men's because it seems like the men's sell better than the women's, but I still wanted to try it out. So it's like a wax like color. The pack, the pockets have like zippers to them, but sold comps looked pretty interesting. Um, I think that's listed is, it seems to be new and is very pricey. So I figured if somebody wants them, um, that are pre-owned and like for half the price or less, I think I should be able to sell mine. So I'm going to start them off at an auction, I think. And then, um, if it doesn't sell, then I'll just set them at a, you know, competitive price. Um, and hopefully they sell quick. But that's all I have for you today. Um, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.